Hello and welcome to Scouting with Mr. Josh. Today we're going to be working once again on our Blue the Builder requirements in our Bears Cub Scout handbook. If you want to turn to page 39, we've finished requirement number one when we first uh, learned how to use our hand tools. Today we're going to be working on requirements two, three, and four. Requirement two states that we are to select, plan, and define the materials for the project you will complete in requirement three. Requirement three states that we will assemble your materials and build one useful project and one fun project using wood. And finally, the requirement number four states to apply a finish to one of your projects. So we'll go through each of these steps in one of these projects. We'll, uh, this will just be one of the projects today that we'll be working on. A, uh, another video will come later that will have another project. So without further ado, let's talk about the project that we're working on. Today, we're going to work on a ruler Christmas ornament. What it's going to be is a, an ornament picture frame that you can hand out as a gift and it'll be a nice decoration on a Christmas tree. To go over the materials that you'll need, a simple yardstick. You can pick up one of these at any home improvement store, hardware store, uh, craft store. Uh, this one cost me a full 98 cents. So they're very, very cheap, very ready, uh, readily available. Uh, next, uh, you'll need some stain. In order to put a finished coat on for the requirement four, you can use a simple stain. A little bit goes a long way. You can apply it with a sponge type brush, a rag, any various things, uh, a bristle brush, brush, but I would recommend that you have a parent helping you with this step because it can be very messy. Next thing you will need a hot glue gun which also will uh, help it would be nice to have a parent handy helping you with that as well as the tip is very hot and the glue comes out very hot so as you don't get injured while uh, trying to complete this project. You're going to need a school picture, a cereal box or you know, a piece of cardboard of some sort, a product called Mod Podge, which we'll talk about pretty soon, a drill and a quarter inch bit. I've got our uh, brace and bit style drill, our manual drill, and some ribbon, twine, uh, yarn, anything to be able to tie our ornament onto the tree with. So let's uh, let's begin by talking about our class picture, our school picture. I wouldn't uh, just take a normal picture. Yeah. So take a wallet-sized copy of a school picture that you may have and photocopy it onto a uh, card stock of some sort, something uh, not just regular paper but something a little bit thicker because what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this Mod Podge. What the Mod Podge is is a sealer and type of a glue finish. So we're going to open this up. You can get this at any craft store, uh, Walmart, any place that sells arts and crafts material. I take a little bit of this I'm going to put this on the cardboard where I'm going to place the picture. The picture I'm going to have right in the middle of this board. So we just put a little bit of that down on the bottom to act as an adhesive to glue this on there. We'll set this down and we'll place our picture right in the middle. All right. And then I'm going to 
uh, take the brush again and I'm going to apply a thin coat of the Mod Podge over the entire picture. It's going to go on white, but don't worry, it's going to clear, dry nice and clear. But you don't want to make it a big mess, you don't want to have streaks or runs on it. You want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and a thin coat, not nothing too thick. So once we're done with that, we'll set that off to the side and let it dry for 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes. And we can uh, wash the brush off in just soap and water, simple soap and water. In the interest of time, I already prepared one ahead of time, and we'll be working with that. So, we're going to take our ruler next, and we're going to cut it into four pieces that are exactly three inches long. It's going to be uh, simple to measure this, since it's already a ruler and already has the lines. On this one you can see that I already stopped uh, cutting it. There was already a cut here at the 24 inch mark. So I uh, need to cut the first one three inches farther. So from 24, that's going to be 27 inches. Before we start using saws and tools, once again we're going to make sure that we're wearing our safety glasses and our gloves to protect ourselves. We're going to put the ruler onto an old piece of a board so that when we cut, we're not going to go through to our workbench and damage it. To secure our work, once again, we'll use a clamp. Remember the clamps from when we were working on our uh, tool usage. We'll use the clamp to secure our work so that it doesn't move on us. If it moves on us, there's a lot of potential that we could hurt ourselves, and we do, do not want to do that. Being that the ruler is a very fine wood, it's a light wood, it's uh, kind of delicate. You don't want to use too big of a saw. A hand saw like this with the large teeth will rip it up and it'll leave a lot of jagged edges. So what I'm going to use today is this, our little coping saw. It's very fine teeth will give us a more precise cut. So taking a look at this, like we said, 24 inch uh, mark was the end of this one. So I want to cut it right at 27. So I'm going to put my blade right on the center of that 27. I'm going to cut clean until I, uh, uh, all the way through it. See, there's a little bit of a edge there of just uh, frayed wood. So I'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper here, nothing too coarse, about a middle. I've got a 220 grit. I'm going to wrap it around a wooden block. And I'm just going to take that frayed edge right off. Just a few passes across it, and it's nice and clean again. I'm going to do that and make four of these pieces. Once again, in the interest of time, I've uh, uh, planned ahead and cut four of these. This is the point where I would take my stain and put a coat of stain over it to uh, give it a nice deep finish, something, uh, something other than the raw wood that the yardstick is currently made of. So earlier 
I had taken the pieces that I had cut and put a traditional cherry wood stain on them. It's now dry and I can continue on with my project here. So since this is a picture frame, we want the picture to be in the center of the frame. So we want to frame it up nice so that we're not hiding anything and that all of the corners match up. So the pieces of the cereal box will also not be seen in this. I'm just kind of uh, going to put these on rough. And well, and move them together to where they're going to look best. That looks like a nice spot. From there, I'm going to mark the outside edge with a marker to know where I need to cut and where I'll need to glue as well. I'll take my scissors. I'm going to cut here, cut this cereal box cardboard until it uh, creates a nice perfectly square backing for this frame. in my hot glue gun, make sure it's nice and hot. Do that by having your glue in there and squeezing the trigger, watching the glue come out. So I've got some glue, give it a nice, nice bit of glue there to have this piece of ruler stick to. There we go. The next piece on there, again another piece of glue, put a nice thick dollop on there so that it sticks nice, put it nice and tight against the edge of the other one. I'm going to go with another splot of glue here, put our third piece on. Looks like I need a little bit more glue stick to finish this. Put another glue stick in there. And then one more thick dash of glue to help finish this out. And put that last piece in there. And this will set up and dry within a matter of a few seconds. 10 to 20 seconds. See, it's already cooled enough to where it's dry. And it's not going to fall apart. So the next part we're uh, going to work on we need a hole in the top in order to hang it from our tree. So what we're going to do, once again, we have to secure our work. But with this being such a delicate piece of wood, I'm going to put a board over it while clamping it so we don't damage the frame.
first I'm going to make a little mark. About two and three sixteenths of an inch in, two and three sixteenths to two and a quarter inches to in, we'll uh, make our mark to drill our hole. So we'll make it all right, right there. Put a little pressure on there with that board. Tighten down our clamp. Nice and tight so it can't move. And we will use our bracing bit. Make sure our bit is tight in the brace and we will center it on this dot. Just a few cranks. And we are all the way through. Pull. Keep cranking as we pull up. Remove our clamp. Got a little bit of a rough edge you can clear off, but all in all, not too bad. At this point, you'll cut a piece of ribbon and weave it through that hole, and you'll end up with a finished product that looks like so. It's something that any mother or grandmother would love to have on their Christmas tree, and a nice, simple gift for the holidays. Thank you once again for watching Scouting with Mr. Josh. I hope this was helpful, and I will see you again soon. Thank you.